welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new today i have a huge grocery haul for you and i'm going to be sharing a meal plan so if you enjoy these types of videos keep on watching all right so it is sunday evening we have had a blast of a weekend and if you guys are new here i am a mama to three little ones and um, married to my high school sweetheart and we had such a fun weekend, but I feel like it flew by. We did so many fun things. We played outside. We went and got our Christmas tree today. But the boring necessity type things kind of took a backseat. So one of the things I had to do this weekend was go grocery shopping. I haven't gone grocery shopping in a while, as you will see. And I sucked it up and I went. But I'm going to show you what time it is and it is 11:59, so it is about to be monday so i'm gonna show you this massive grocery haul it goes all the way around here and wraps around but i really needed to get this done and i'm glad i did because now i don't have to worry about it this week so this grocery haul is let's see 247 dollars and 97 cents from Walmart I have a meal plan to share with you guys so I'll run through this really quick this is for this week so starting tomorrow we're doing pork tenderloin with ranch potato wedges and a salad Tuesday we're doing a really easy version of chicken parm and salad Wednesday I'm doing chicken and gravy in the crock pot with mashed potatoes and carrots if you guys want this recipe, it is on my channel. Um, I will have it linked above in the iCards. Thursday, I'm planning on doing just chili and cornbread. Friday, I have sausage and peppers on the menu. Saturday, my husband and I are going um, Christmas shopping with no kids. So we're going to go out to eat. And then Sunday, we're going to do leftovers, most likely. And my rule of thumb with my meal plan is yes i plan this out and it is nice to look at and to know what i have on kind of the docket but it's also super flexible so i can flip these around if i have leftovers earlier in the week i can do leftovers a different day so um so that is my meal plan so hopefully you guys got a little bit of meal inspiration or some ideas from it so let's jump in to the grocery haul so here is the massive grocery haul and I'm going to jump right in. So this was on clearance. It was two bottles of the Copper Tone 50 SPF um, spray and it was only five bucks. So I got that. I needed some new baby toothpaste for my little guy. So picked up a box of that. I needed some dry shampoo. So I'm trying a new one actually. I usually use Batiste, but I'm trying this one. It's The brand is Not Your Mother's and it's clean freak so we'll see i've never used it before i picked up a 12 pack of the just walmart brand ultra strong toilet paper and then a 12 pack of the split sheet paper towels last time i did not get the split sheets and i absolutely hate them i feel like we waste or we're ripping them in half um so definitely let me know in the comments below, do you guys buy the split sheets? Is this just us? But I always like the smaller ones. All right, over here. I feel like I ran out of everything this week um, or the past couple weeks. I had an ongoing list and just so many pantry items. So starting, let's see here. I needed a new container of cornstarch. We ran out of coffee this morning, which never happens. Um, this is just the original blend from Dunkin'. I needed some more monk fruit sweetener. This is a sugar replacement swerve, and this one are my two favorites. I use this in my coffee. I don't find that this has an aftertaste, and I'm pretty picky about um, sweeteners, so this one's a really good one if you haven't tried it. I picked up a bunch of canned goods, so I got two cans of pinto beans for chili. 
Um, I picked up three cans of this Hunt's tomato sauce. I usually get just the store brand, but they didn't have any. I got two cans of the petite diced tomatoes and one can of light red kidney beans. I also got an 18 pack of eggs, a light sour cream. You guys know this is my favorite ranch. This is the Bolt House Classic Ranch. It's a yogurt dressing. I do not like yogurt and I cannot taste it in this. It's a really low calorie ranch and I think it's really tasty. Unsalted butter. Uh, let's see. Finely shredded Colby and Monterey Jack cheese blend. Um, I make my kids quesadillas for lunch all the time and it's just nice to have on hand. We needed more rice, so I buy a big bag and we just keep this in the pantry. For fruit, we also went through so much fruit this week. So um, I have five apples. These are the Envy apples. I got a bunch of bananas and I like to buy them a couple that are ripe and then I got a couple that will last because um, our bananas have been going bad really quickly. Got two oranges. I picked this up for my husband. Um, this is a Chomps turkey stick. It's um, turkey jerky and they're supposed to be really good for you. There's no sugar in it. They're only 60 calories. So he's going to try it and um, I will let you know here on the screen if he likes it. I feel like these are all over the place this holiday season. Strawberries, blueberries, a huge thing of blueberries. Look at this. But all my kids eat blueberries. They snack on them. They have them at breakfast. So that will last us a little bit. This is all pantry stuff. Again, I feel like I ran out of everything. Garlic salt, and this is the one with parsley in it. I really like this one. I use this in my coffee a lot. This is the Smucker's Sunday Syrup. It's sugar-free caramel. A little jar of minced garlic. Two bottles of the Taco Bell hot sauce. I love this hot sauce. I think it's my hands down favorite. Uh, this is the light Italian Olive Garden dressing. This is our favorite Italian dressing. And then Sweet Baby Ray's Buffalo Sauce. A gallon of 2% milk. A ranch for my son. We just buy the Ken's Steakhouse Ranch. And then I got some things. Um, I'll show you guys what these are. And this is a little sneak peek. There is a video that will be going up soon with some really easy and fun holiday treats. You can make them with your kids. You can give them as gifts. Um, but they're really simple to put together and they're really cute. So stay tuned for that. I got mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. Two bags of regular semi-sweet chocolate chips. These little peppermint sticks. These were only a dollar. Some Christmas M&Ms. Some extra butter popcorn. A bag of russet potatoes. What is down here? Oh, light brown sugar. Because again, I ran out. A bag of the Tyson. These are like the little dino nuggets uh, for my kids. Two bags of these air fried um, chicken nuggets. These are chicken breast nuggets and they are so good. You don't have to throw them in the air fryer, but if you do, they're even better. They're like crispy on the outside and they are not bad for you. They, let me show you the nutrition facts. For five of them, they're only 160 calories and only four grams of fat. So I keep these in my freezer and this is, my kids eat these. They're also great for like an easy lunch. Um, so these are a great try and you guys know I've talked about these. They actually had them in stock. I was so excited because I am out. This is the Tyson fully cooked blackened chicken breast strips. They are a little bit spicy so if you like spicy, you will love it. Such good flavor and also they're, they're not fried or anything so they're pretty good for you. Also, this is like my go-to lunch most days of the week. I heat a couple of those up and I eat it with this ranch and cucumbers and that's an easy lunch. I am out of everything in my deep freezer. So, so I'm trying to stock up. I have two Crickling Cut Fries. I have a regular cut fry. Um, a box of fish sticks. 
You guys know I've talked about these. These are the Walmart Sam's Choice um, smoked sausages. These are the chicken apple. So good. I got two of those. I got these for breakfast this week. These are the turkey breakfast sausage patties. These are also really good. I have two, let's see. Oh, I forgot these. Um, these are the great value reduced sodium chicken broth. I have two of those for the pantry. An apple juice. What else do I have here? This is for tomorrow. This is a slow roasted golden rotisserie flavor um, pork tenderloin. These are really good, um, the Smithfield ones. I, we've tried a couple different flavors, but it's a nice, easy um, dinner. So if you guys are looking, I'm trying to think of the other one. I think we had like a teriyaki flavored one that was really good. I got some great value rotisserie seasoned chicken breast for lunches this week. A pound of 93% lean ground turkey. That's typically what I use for chili. And then two huge packages of chicken because I'm dividing all this up and going to throw it in the freezer, the deep freezer. We are completely out of like anything chip related and my kids love to have like a little crunchy something with if, um, their sandwiches for lunch. So sea salt poppables, one of our faves, and they love dill pickle chips. So I got those. Those will last us a while. So that is the massive grocery haul. So now I have to put this all away before I can go to bed. All right, well that is it for today's grocery haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and it gave you some meal inspiration or maybe some motivation to go grocery shopping. I definitely did not want to do this tonight, but I'm glad I did because now my groceries are all set. I just have to put them away. I have a meal plan set for the week and I know things will go smoother because of that. So if you guys are new here, I would love for you to join this YouTube community by hitting that red subscribe button. Don't forget I have that fun Christmas slash holiday treat video coming soon. You guys will love it. They're really easy. They're fun to put together and they're kid friendly. And as always, I will see you in the next one.